All right, to get started on our bibimbap bowl, we're gonna first start by making the veggies. So I'm doing a sauce for the spinach and bean sprout salad with some sesame seeds, sesame oil, garlic powder, or real garlic, and some maple syrup and a good amount of some salt. And we're gonna give this a good mix in the bowl. I just did two batches of this sauce. Um, and then we're also adding in some freshly cut green onions. You can do small slices, big slices, it all doesn't matter. And so I already boiled these bean sprouts in some water and pressed out the water. And so now we can mix it into the sauce and I let it refrigerate overnight, but you can also serve it fresh immediately into this bowl. So you can just set it aside if you're making it today. And I just did the same thing with the spinach where I boiled it, cooked it, rinsed it, drained out the water, and mixed it into the same type of sauce. Okay, so moving on to the other veggies, we're going to cut up some carrot. I julienned the carrot into small slices. And then after we julienne the carrot, we're going to cook it. But first, I want to dive in to cook, make, or cutting up our shiitake mushrooms so I just can cook all my veggies in one batch. Okay, so we're just going to slice these mushrooms um, into thin slices. You can remove the stems if you want. You can also keep them on. That's up to you. Um, for this one, I did remove the stems. I didn't really want them just for a visual effect, but either way, it works. So now I'm just cooking the carrots in some oil on a pan until they're nicely soft and a little bit crispy. You can also keep them raw in your bowl. That is totally fine. And I did the same with the mushrooms. Okay, so now moving on to our what I like to call vegan egg. So we're adding in some coconut yogurt, some uh, white rice, gluttonous white rice flour, and then also some milk into a bowl. And then we're also gonna be making our yolk separately. So this is gonna be either cooked sweet potato or pumpkin, some oil, some almond milk, some nutritional yeast. Um, and then we're also going to add in something called black salt, and this is called kolak manap, and then also some cornstarch. Okay, so once we get all these ingredients into the bowl, we can give it a good mix. We're also going to add in a little bit of water here just to help out um, this consistency to be not too, too thick when we cook it on the stove. And when we cook it on the stove, this is going to help the cornstarch um, react and thicken. Okay, so now we can heat up a pan place our white mix of our egg into the pan until it's you know the shape of an egg white and then we're going to add in the yolk in the center i like to put the lid on top of the pan to make sure it's all cooked and well ready and this is going to make around four eggs or so and so now you can just take it off the pan set it aside while we make our um sauce for our bibimbap bowl okay so this is going to be some korean pepper paste uh that we've been using in our kimchi we're also going to be using some tamari or soy sauce then we're also going to be using some sesame oil um some water sesame seeds and then we're going to give this a really good mix all right, so now that we have all of our ingredients prepped, make sure you have some nicely cooked white rice and then start assembling your bowl. I'm placing the carrots, the mushrooms in each of their own section, same with the spinach and bean sprout salad in their own little section on this bowl. Uh, it's kind of like a Buddha bowl, but a Korean style Buddha bowl, you could say. Um, and then next we're gonna add in our kimchi that we made in the previous video. Um, really easy. And now we're going to add some sliced green onions on the bowl before we add on our vegan egg. And I also added some pickled cucumbers here. You can also do some zucchini or whatever other veggie you would like. Now I'm just drizzling on some of the sauce and it's ready to go. Enjoy and hope you make this recipe. Oh, and before I forget, add on some black sesame seeds or regular sesame seeds just for some extra flavor. And enjoy!